A jury has been seated in the trial of a former high school cheerleader accused of murdering her newborn baby. Skylar Richardson faces a list of charges, included aggravated murder and abuse of a corpse. Anjanette Levy is live at the Warren County Courthouse with what the jury heard and saw today. Anjanette. Well, they sure, certainly heard a lot, Paula. There are seven women and five men on this jury. They were asked a number of questions today, particularly about abortion and how late in a pregnancy they believed a woman could terminate that pregnancy. They were also asked whether or not they believed that a woman could take the life of her infant shortly after it was born. Skylar Richardson arrived at the courthouse with her parents before the tedious process of picking jurors began. She has the constitutional right to remain silent. Judge Donald Oda explained Richardson's rights to those potential jurors. She doesn't have to testify or even put on a defense. In a rare move, attorneys were allowed to give brief opening statements before questioning started. This is a situation where you have someone taking specific actions to conceal and destroy evidence, making it unavailable for testing. Prosecutors say Richardson found out she was pregnant and never intended to keep the baby. Then she went into labor at her home in Carlisle and didn't tell anyone. They don't have the guts to come in here right off the bat and say they were wrong about it. Defense attorney Charlie Rickers told the potential jurors the state got everything wrong, including Richardson burning her baby's body, an opinion initially given by a state's expert but later changed. He said Richardson found out she was pregnant and gave birth 11 days later. She thinks she has 10 weeks to tell her mom, listen to her mother's angst about being pregnant, to tell her boyfriend who didn't know that she was pregnant. Now, the jurors were also asked whether or not they believe that a person can falsely confess. Skylar Richardson gave two separate interviews to sheriff's detectives. In one of those, the second one, she made some statements in which she implicated herself in these crimes. So those are going to be a large part of the evidence in this case. Reporting live in Lebanon, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Paula, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Anjanette. And Local 12 will stream the trial starting tomorrow. Opening statements are scheduled for 830.